Guys, what is up? Zach in here. Rick in here. And in today's video, we have an urgent message for you guys. Uh, AI is going to change wholesaling real estate in 2023. And you might be thinking, oh, Zach's doing this big raw, raw video. There might be a sales thing at the end. Are we saying this just to get ahead like the other people say? All guys, like we're just telling you this legitimately. We asked AI about five important key questions and it really scared us on how effective and how well it will actually work for wholesaling real estate. And that that was around, I think, a couple weeks ago. What I'm going to tell you guys today is going to change your life insanely for wholesaling real estate. And it's not going to be this thing that's going to uh, be the most craziest change in the world. But what I could tell you is if you're somebody that, first of all, needs to find more motivated sellers, needs to find more cash buyers, and just wants to actually get the best type of sellers out here and pull lists for you. Guys, I'm actually going to show you how to get AI to actually pull lists for you guys. Let, let's just, let me be completely clear. I we This is not a video to go raw, raw you up. This is actually the most in-depth step-by-step video on how to use AI in 2023. And it is so easy to use. I'm saying this as a joke, but it's so easy to use that within a week, you basically mastered actually how to use it for wholesaling real estate. And I'm old. <laughs> He's not old, but like <laughs> as somebody that just learned it like I really saw. a month ago, really yeah. hard, you learned it within a week and yeah. like how to do it perfectly for wholesaling. Um, it, It's insane. So we're going to give you an entire thing on start to finish how to do this. And most importantly, and I want you guys to understand this because we decided to make this a live stream for one and one reason only. I've looked front and back every single real estate investing video, every single realtor video, every single real estate video, even wholesaling. This as of this live stream is the only AI wholesaling real estate video, really AI real estate investing video specifically for finding wholesaling real estate deals, pulling lead, finding cash buyers, and actually giving you the knowledge and the heads up. So this is the only video out here as of this video for it. So this is going to be probably the most insane one. And I know for half the audience watching, you're rolling your eyes like, oh my gosh, this is like uh, NFTs or like the newest craze going on. Guys, th this is not the new. No, this isn't like yeah. that. No Th coins, no NFTs. No, 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 this is, guys, we're not selling you anything. Okay? Nothing to sell. There's you. nothing to sell. Shocking. This is something that you, if you have a YouTube account, which you're watching this on YouTube, you actually have an AI account. And I will show you how to actually effectively use this so you can make more money. I promise by you watching this entire live stream step by step, you will have the tools actually how to pull more lists, find a ton of more cash buyers, and most importantly, unlock. And this isn't, this isn't raw, raw. I'll show you actually how to unlock a new marketing strategy. You probably didn't have the time, resources, or energy for that cost absolutely for free. All right, we're, we're, we're going to rip the bandaid off before it's they insane. try to, every guru tries to overcharge you guys. And to be honest with you, we've been playing now with this for months. So the benefit of us, I'm old school. He's a little bit new school. He sat me down months ago. He's got, you got to check this thing out. Honestly, I was extremely pessimistic. The fundamentals still rule in wholesaling, like but December I got to tell you, yeah. The speed in which you get information now is on. I, I, I'm completely blown away. It's in fact, we've got to go out and show people how to use this. And we're going to show you how you can leverage it. And here's a really cool part is there are no real experts on AI. If a wholesale guru tells you I'm the expert on, on AI, they're not. They're a rookie just like you and me. So we want to navigate you through, show you how we're using it in our business and show you how you can duplicate it. And hopefully we can expand and grow on this. And the th real thing is we're going to make this 100% free yeah. because AI right now is free and open to the public it aligns perfectly with what we do here yeah. and this is why we want you guys to understand it you do not need to go to a guru to learn ai because they're learning it just like you and me we're all in it together so as much information we can share so we're hoping we can use this live videos our wholesaling houses for real so we can share information to help each other out and so that's what we're getting into today we're excited you've probably seen before we get into it i just want you guys to understand you've probably seen a guru a facebook person say something on the lines i'm developing this AI software that's going to create the perfect SMS script or whatever. All you got to do is buy my software and I'll do it or give me money and I'll have AI, which is a new key, key, sexy term. And it'll do it for you. Just pay me money. What I'm going to show you today also on top of what else we're going to show you actually how to find sellers. I'm going to show you how to use that for free because this is what these gurus are doing. They're saying you give me $300 a month and I'll have AI great, create you the perfect SMS script or whatever cold calling thing or objection handling. And I'll show you how to do it. Uh, but you got to pay our software and we'll have it. Guys, I'm going to show you how to skip the pay because what they do is they take what your input, they'll go use it for free and then give it back to you and charge you money. Uh, what we're going to do today is just show you how to do it absolutely for free. And this is literally like um, Nestle. You know, Nestle takes water for free and sells it to you for five bucks. This is what the gurus are going to try. They're going to try to put AI into everything to charge you money. I'm going to show you how to use it for free. Number one, to make you more money. Number two, flex on a guru. That's the point. So guys, we're excited. We're jacked up. Let's we're go. ready to go. This could probably be one of the most life-changing videos uh, for wholesaling real estate. It's the only wholesaling real estate video for
for it because everyone's slow. I want you to know you are the first people on this live stream to be getting this type of information. So you, I'll tell you, most of wholesalers in the country don't watch our YouTube channel. We'd love them to. Maybe in the future they will. We're just getting more people following us. But there is a certain group of wholesalers watching our live stream. And if you're watching this right now, you are a small proportion of the wholesalers, real yeah. estate investors. So you will have this huge advantage. Head start, my friend. Head start. So I'm excited. I'm ready to go. We're excited for this. So the first question before we break down how to do it, but the, the biggest question is what is AI, right? This is going to be the first thing we're going to break down. We're going to get the step by step into it. But the first question is what is AI and what does it mean for wholesaling real estate? AI is short for artificial intelligence and basically how it's going to, how it's used for wholesaling. There's a million definitions. I'm not getting into it. Guys can watch all the videos out there on it, but pretty much what AI is for the version that we're at right now for this live stream. Remember, we'll do live streams in the future if things change and if they probably will. Mm -hmm. But here, here's the biggest part. AI is basically a very smart computer. It's not self-aware. It's none of these uh, Terminator type things yet. Yeah. But basically what it is, is for wholesaling real estate specifically, it has taken every single website, every single text, every single conversation on the internet, which you think a lot, but think about that at the 10th degree, which means you think of every conversation somebody's had for a billion people, then multiply that for 10 years and it just takes it all in one second, right? And so basically what AI has done is this website called OpenAI. Now there's a million AI tools what we'll tell you about today, but the main one's going to be uh, from a website called OpenAI. And OpenAI is a website, I think for five, 10 years, Elon Musk actually worked on it before he um, left it. And pretty much it's owned part by Microsoft, Google. And what they did was basically took every single website site and gave it into a computer and started learning it. And basically what it did was something called NLP, which I don't want to confuse you, but pretty much what it did was it just learned how words work. That's pretty much it. They made this thing called chat GDP, which you've heard it a million times probably, but it's called chat GDP, GPT, GTP. Whatever. Yeah. And so I just throw it in there, but basically what you have to do, the way it worked is it has seen how speech work and it can tell based on the questions you ask or the things you say, what the next things on part of that is going to be. And based if you give it a a curry, curry, uh, curry. Uh, yeah. yeah, it will actually spit something out for you. So it's like a Google search, but smart. Um, and it uses basically supercomputers to basically calculate it in real time. Now, why are you saying all this crazy stuff? Why, wh 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 what's the point of what you're saying, right? The point of what we're saying is basically it's very smart and it scrapes the entire internet with knowledge. It's basically a very smart person that can do a lot of things for you. So first of all, what are the top things for it? It can give you recipes. It can create music. It can create art. Probably seen people create images and stuff, but like that's all great and sexy. You can look up all the internet. There's a lot of fun, fun stuff to do, right? But the most important part is it's actually going to help you in your wholesaling business when it comes to finding sellers, selling deals and doing a lot, right? Yep. It, it's going to change a lot. It, it's guys, what we hire virtual assistants for, this has the potential to really not completely replace it, but I'm just telling you, you for you single operators out there, which I was for seven years, this is probably going to be the biggest advancement for you managing data because the speed in which you can get so number one, I'm going to talk a little bit on the macro level. AI this year is going to impact customer service on all companies. You are not going to know if you're talking to a computer or a real person. You got to understand AI learn as every minute goes by. So it gets smarter with each conversation. It gets smarter with each question you ask it. It's not perfect, but traditionally we would do like a Google search, internet search, and we didn't have to look for key topics. Well, a lot of that stuff filter, I'm not going to the details of it, but it never got smarter every time you asked another question on it. So it can take an existing conversation you have and you can keep asking a question. So I do this with my wife all the time. I have to ask her like nine questions to get the answer I want. Now a computer is, I don't have to ask, please, thank you. I just give it commands. And when I get what I want, I can make one or two easy voice commands, text commands and get what I want. And we're going to show you the power of this. It's insane. But right now, guys, you know, those of you that like call customer service, if you th like, it's going to get better, but worse because you're never going to know if you're actually talking yeah. to a person. It has the ability to manipulate what we think are languages. It learns your patterns. It earns your questions. It's unbelievable. And they've been working on this technology for a long time. The speed of information, which we're going to get moving in 2023 is going to make seem like we were working on pencil and paper before this. And I'm telling you how you get educated in the future, you, your kids and how you learn. It's going to be amazing and scary at the same time, because now you can work with a computer to teach you stuff and learn from your mistakes or before we had to do internet searches. So we're going to kind of walk you through. I want to show you like examples. It, it's mind blowing what you can do with this. And not all we're talking about wholesaling today, but I want you guys to understand this is like all of life. So we here on this channel try to focus on wholesaling. We don't distract you with like the latest, greatest thing. So this is kind of the newest thing, but we're telling you how it relates to 
wholesaling because we don't want to hype it up. We want to get you ahead of it. And this has the process of having getting in the wrong hands of people want to sell you done for it services. I'm telling you, you need to watch out for that because they don't know any more than you do. I'm going to be honest with you. Most of you guys watching this live right now, you are going to have a head start on most real estate gurus because most of them aren't running a business. They're flipping students and they don't understand how this is going to work within their business. Me and Zach know exactly how it works and we're learning every day. So we're going to share some examples yeah, with you and walk you through it. We're going to show you how to do it. So the one thing you have to basically do is let's, let's talk from a very simple perspective for anyone who doesn't know what it is. I put a website in the chat, just search chat G, uh, GTP. Uh, so I put it in there, uh, GPT. And basically you can sign up for free. All you need is a Google account. Pretty simple, right? If you really want to look at it from a simple perspective, you're brand new into this. I'm going to give everyone a couple seconds to go log in and try to make it. And you can actually search these with me. That's perfect. So you can learn it, but we're also going to screen share and show you so you can go back to it yourself. But really what you think of it as just a Google, you ask it, you ask it something, they'll do it for you. And this is a lot of use cases. Now you got to remember this. This is like life. And you've said this a lot. You get in life what you ask of it. And so the way AI works, it's only limited by one thing, pretty much yourself. You are the limiting factor of it. And before you get scared of AI and all these things, just remember that this is the same thing with the internet, with real estate. Think of wholesaling real estate back in 1974 when George Bockel and all these guys were doing it. There's no internet. So comps and all these things were like, yeah, to get listings, you actually had to go to a real estate agent um, prior to like you had to open 2000s. up the books. They had to open up a book. They had a special, special database on an expensive computer. And they, they, everyone thought the internet was going to destroy the real estate agent. It did. It no, just, that's what they said though. The internet's going to destroy it. Everyone's going to get free information. Everyone can see comps now. Uh, the, the the realtors said the the human being, the people can't know how much property sell for in the area too much. They said the internet's going to destroy it. And it didn't. It just made information a lot faster. AI is the internet of the internet. So it is the new thing like the internet that will change the way we do. Is it going to destroy real estate investing or wholesaling? No, people said that it's not. It's just going to make information a lot faster. So let's kind of break down how it works and what we can do it for. So, so guys, before he gets into it, I want you to understand, I've been around a long time. I've been around when cell phones came around, when the internet came, and then you guys must be around when social media started. It was pretty rough at first, but those who implemented it first got the most traction and got the most gain from it. And I'm here to tell you, AI is it's not going to go away. It's only going to get better. And so if you avoid it, you're going to be behind the curb. You're going to be slower to get your leads. There, there, so many people are going to have advantages with pulling and extracting information. If you ignore this, it's going to be problematic. I mean, imagine if you or ignored the internet. Those of you that ignored social media and this guy's, I, honestly, it's both of them put together in a much more powerful. It is a computer that can learn the human language and it learns from you. It's like, eventually it's going to be your assistant. Like it's, it's crazy. Yeah. And guys, we're going to have fun with wholesaling today, but I beg you when you're done with this, go have fun with it afterwards. It's unbelievable what it'll do outside of wholesaling. Because there's going to be things we're going to teach you today, which I don't even think of, and you're going to think of it, and it's going to change the way you do wholesaling on top of it, because it's only limited by the questions you ask it, right? And so this is version one. Remember, in 10 years, it's probably going to be able to cold call your sellers. Do it. Now, this is way in the future. So let's talk about how to do it right now, okay? It doesn't actually access the internet. It accessed all the internet basically from 2021 to the past, but it's not anything in the future. So it's a little shaky on some things, uh, but what I could tell you is if you can use it in the right way, we're going to, so let's just get into it. Remember guys, I, I get put in the chat. I'll put it in one more time on the stream yard. So you guys can see me put the comment in on it, but let's go over the use cases for this and how to use it in the first part. So the first part of how this is going to be super powerful is you are going to be able to pull with chat GDP, GPT. Basically, you're going to figure out how to pull every government list possible. And you're going to be able to follow up absolutely pretty much instantaneously. And so the biggest issue I think a lot of people have, and let, let's do the first use case for AI for wholesaling real estate for 2023. Number one, let's talk about email. Okay. And oh, you're just not sending email. It's, it's like sending emails, but for very important part. So this is huge for a lot of people. So we have people in um, Nigeria, South Africa. We got a lot of people in uh, Europe, uh, Scandinavia, where the culture is a little different. We got a lot of people in like Korea and stuff, right? And here's the, here's the, here's the cool part. A lot of those virtual wholesalers, they, their English is their second language. So they don't, they don't understand the wording of culture or how emails work in the United States, but the AI can do it for you. So let's break down an example really quick. So if you're nervous out here to go pull a list and you live in like Hungary or something, right? And you, and we got a lot of international so people doing like, it. Let's break down how to pull government lists with AI, right? So AI is not going to do everything for you, but let's get into it. So we're in chat GDP, GPT right now. Why is that a tongue twister? Me, I have no idea, but let's just get into it. And let me just ask it questions and it's going to help us out. So I think the first and foremost, probably one of the most important questions we can ask it. Let's pull a code violation. List. It's going to do 
code. No, it's I'm not gonna say ask for a code violation list and do it, but like it's gonna do what we can do. So for example, can you write an email for all for an email requesting all open code violations for the past month in let's do Knock County, Knock County, and then all that, that's all you can write, right? Actually, but also what we want to do is here's the problem with me asking this question though. Wait a second, who is it right? See, it's like a VA. If I say it to do something, it's gonna literally do what I say. Now I'm thinking it should go to the clerk of the court, right? But here's the thing. I didn't tell it that. I need to actually tell it to speak it to a clerk of the court. So let's make this a little bigger. Can you write an email requesting all code violations? Can you write an email to the clerk of the court office requesting all open code violations in the past month in a professional in a professional manner? Now copy this and see what it does. So it is right now writing an email we can send to the clerk of the court website. So now we don't have to use it. We can actually affect it too. So first of all, what's popping out here is dear clerk of the court's office. We can put whatever's in there. I'm writing a request. I'm writing a request, a list of all open code violations in Knox County for the past month. I'm requesting this information in order to keep my community informed and to ensure that necessary step will be taken to address any safety concerns. Do you see how it just gave me a reason outside of wholesaling of how to do it? It's insane. I didn't even think of that. And guys, as you progress in the chat, you can e keep asking questions to fix it. So like one of the tricks I learned is whenever you have a marketing message, and we'll get to that, is you need to like, you have to write it on a low level entry, either between a third and sixth grade. And a lot of times you can just put in, um, please write, don't, you don't have to do words, please. That's the human factor in us. Write this at a third grade level and it will simplify the language. Because a lot of times we over explain, we confuse our message and the simpler you can make any marketing message, the better your results are going to be. So that's just number one. Okay. Now th there's a million ways we can do this, right? So let's just, I can get really crazy with this, right? Thank you with the assistance in this mat with this matter. It sounds very professional. And if I'm some like, for example, I can make this in Chinese and like do it for, and I can do it in there because if somebody out here, you know, they're born in a household that spoke Chinese and they understand Chinese culture, it's probably a tad different the way they write and say the language, mm -hmm. right? Because sometimes when I was learning Spanish, the way they'll say things in Spanish, you don't say it in like an English way. Uh, but like, it's just, it's just different, right? Yeah. And so for example, like for this, we can make it even crazier, but all right, let's do Knox County. Let's do this. Another. Can you make a similar email, but for Harris County, Texas, right? So I can do this for all these counties. All right. And so let's do it for Harris County, Texas. So let it do it here. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but remember for a lot of things, it'll work very well. So it's just adding it on here. So do you see how it's, so it's doing it there and, and it's just popping it up. And you guys can understand this is just the basic ground level. You have an ability to go into open AI and actually do formulas. If you want to spit out like a hundred letters, you're going to have the ability to do it. Now the service is free for right now. It actually costs them money um, to process all this information. Eventually there's probably going to be some sort of fee. I don't know where that's going to wind up going. Right now it's free. They might make this one free and the new one uh, for cost. So right now it is free. So I just asked, can you make a follow-up email for this if the clerk of the court doesn't respond? All right. So if they don't respond, it's going to make me a follow-up sequence. All right. So we can literally paste this a month later. All right. Dear clerk of court, I'm writing the follow-up of my previous request for all open code violations in county for the past month. Now I can ask it what county will literally write it for you. Could you please let me know the status of my request? Boom. And so it works like this all the sync in time. Now, can I can write this. Can you write that same email, but from a person named Zach? So it'll write my own name on it, so right? Guys, if you ever struggle just writing simple emails, or maybe you're not from this country, this is unbelievable because you don't even have to think about it. It's I, it's insane how far this thing goes, but this is just one method for you guys to request lists. It's hard to bat 100%, but chasing down your government list, the fire damage, you can think about the fire departments, the utility departments, all the clerical courts, all the list you request. Think about what you could do this with like realtors. But here's the thing. Here, here's another thing on this. Yeah. So we're going to show you. So for example, if I'm writing this and I want to do follow up, I want you guys to understand, can you make five variations of that email? And so if I'm going to write it five different ways, I can do new ad copy for the emails in five different ways. So it's literally going to create five little variations for it. And this gets you thinking like, wait a second, if you can use this for emails, you can probably use this for other things. And this is where we're going to get into the next part here. This thing can create ad copy for finding motivated sellers. And let's do one really big example, right? So first of all, it's creating this and it's kind of insane. It's creating five versions. So I can do this to five different clerk of the courts and it's a new email every single time. Pretty crazy, <sighs> right? Guys, you know how much time this would take you on your own to do? And honestly, if you don't start using this technology, it's going to be used against you and you're going to be behind. We're trying to open and peel it back and show you how you can use this to your advantage in your wholesaling business. Because like, listen,
listen, I kind of hate smartphones, but I have to use them. And this is the same way. If you don't use this like your smartphone, you're going to be left behind. What I don't want you to do, the whole purpose of our live stream and the way me and Zach deliver content is to make sure you guys don't get taken advantage of it because there's people that will tell you they'll do everything for you. Honestly, this is going to make a lot of people's CRMs, websites kind of obsolete because you have the ability to generate almost anything you want. I imagine there's going to be a small fee for it, but right now it's free. And I think there's comp competition going on. So it's going to be free right now. I feel like there's going to be free ones like this because this is going to be, this is literally going to be a cakewalk compared to what's going on next year. So let me blow your minds one more time. All right. Can you do the same email, but requesting the probate list from Knox County? Remember guys, you're never going to replace the human element, but if you're all trying right, so to it, mask over it, so it's creating a follow-up sequence for it. So shoot. All right. We didn't want that, but whatever. All right. We can do this. I can do this instead though. I think they get the message on the, no, but here's the thing. It can literally right now create a probate sequence on based on that email. So it, it's doing that. So can you, let me just make it the one on it and I'll show you what it can do for the variation. And so what I mean this, so I'm just going to paste it on here. So I'm going to ask you really quick. Can you request all open code violations for December? And just let it do this. And I can tell you what, what this means for you. And this is what you can do. Okay. And I don't want to overdo this, but all right, here's a short one. Okay. So now we're going to ask this one. Can you make, can you make an email? Can, I'm thinking of how to do it. Can you make a separate email? It, it doesn't mind when you misspell stuff. Either. The water shut off list, fire damage property list, the probate list, requesting all open water shut off list, fire damage property list, and probate list. But can you make an email requesting it's a lot of lists. All open, but a separate email for each list. So let's see if it does. I don't mean I've never tried this before, it's, but I'm just it's thinking. So it's the so, clerk of court doesn't control the fire damage and the water no, but you can off. switch clerk of court with the utility. Yeah, and you so you can do it like that. So it's going to make an email for every type of possible list you want to put. So that's the part I can put up all the lists I want, mm -hmm. and it'll create an email for each one. And then on top of that, you can just copy and paste. So switch clerk of the court with utility lit, li uh, utility department, fire department, all this stuff. But it's going to create an email for every type of government list you want to pull. So switch this one off to uh, water shut offs utility. Make this one. So I am writing a request a list of all properties in Harris County that has suffered fire damage in December 2022. Can you please request in a timely manner? Switch this to fire department and then probates clerk of the court. Yeah. So just made three emails in under three seconds of each list we want to do. So you could have 10 different variations of this. You could put it in your Word document and just make it your template. And you could spit out letters like all day long if that's what you do. I, it's not going to replace if you go in person, you're going to have much better luck. But sometimes a numbers game, if you guys are playing that, this is the way to yeah. kind of cheat and get a shortcut on it. Because I don't know about you, but like I overthink my emails. I don't overthink my text. That's my wife. But it's like if you're spending too much brain power writing emails, this tool is absolutely amazing. So get to the point, ask the question. And I want you to understand this is a tool that you have to learn with trial and error. That's the beauty of it. There is no guru in the real estate space that knows any more than we do, than you guys do. We have to learn together. So the minute someone says, I'm the authority on AI, like how long you've been doing AI? What, two, three months tops. And most of this stuff is untested. So we want to share it with you guys. And remember, it's a tool. You got to play with it. It's trial and error. You're going, that's how you learn. So if you have a letter and it doesn't hit, when you finally get a letter hits, share it with people. Let's figure out how it works. You want to have variations. So we're not sending out, everyone so, sending out the same letter. Yeah. So let's keep going on the, on, so this is just one use case. We have a lot to break down today. We we, we do have a lot. So let's, let's uh, get to the fun stuff. Let's get some of the fun stuff. Okay. So that is just for email. So I think everybody watching this, you have zero excuses now not to email every single government agency to pull a code violation list, a water shelf, a fire damage property list. So now, because I made this video, when I do a one-on-one -on -one with you and you ask, I have no lead, I will ask you, have you written emails for every government agency for every type of government list that we have at freeholsling.com? Guess what? You have no excuse. Oh, they didn't write me back. Ask the AI to give you a follow-up email. I promise you, if you pull, if you request 10 government lists every single month and you just follow up with, with the AI, you will get these lists. And guess what? Here's the coolest part. If you're doing virtual wholesaling, you could probably write 500 emails in a minute and that, paste them. Copy, paste, and, copy, and paste, copy, paste. The thing is, they don't know what you're doing. So honestly, if you get ahead of this for 2023, yeah. we already know the challenge of going to real estate, you're going to be so much further ahead. Think about if you started social media when it first started. Like, yeah. uh, and so a lot of us blew it off and we waited to the end. Same with the internet, the cell phone. I fought it forever. It was really expensive. And I'm here to tell you, this is, I hate the word game changer, but it's the reality. We want to share the information because we are going to learn all of 2023. And guys, you are in the beginning stages. If you remember back to the MySpace uh, issues of social media and stuff like that, the people who learn the most valuable lessons really grow.
through. So let's ask some more questions. I'm gonna show you some more use case. So this is really simple. How can I find, this is simple, but like, how can I find, actually, let's do this. What are the top lists who find people who want to sell their house for a deep account? I see how smart it is. In Florida. Not correct. I, I, it might not spit anything out for me. Guys, but... you should be asking this thing thousands of questions. So like... there are a few options, it says here. <laughs> so it says foreclosure list, correct. three foreclosures, right? Yep. So it's not gonna be the expert on stuff like this, and I, I wish it would, but it's giving some, it's not giving me bad info. Well, if it went to freewholesaling.com, I'd be an expert. No, yeah. So, like, we're going to teach AI for, we might make a freewholesaling.com. Uh, like a probate list. So, probates are on there, right? And so, this is a this is a cool part. But estate like Estate sales, I always say that. How do I find... Guys, we learned from this. Estate sale list. Well, because it's pulling every article. Yeah. How do I pull an estate sale list, right? And so, you might... So, how do I pull an estate sale list? Search online. So, like, it's... I'm not saying it's going to replace a lot, but, like, it's giving me websites right now where I can find estate sale, which is pretty crazy. So, I'm just saying, this is just, like, a tiny use case but like i'm telling you, there's a lot Let, let's go in, in some more right i'm telling you it's it, the gurus are going to be shook on this and because i give everything out for free i don't really care but this is pretty interesting guys and so let's go to the next part so guys think about this when you have to write your girlfriend or your wife or your husband a, a creative birthday card you've been with them a long time okay we're gonna get a whole sentence okay right? but like <laughs> this is important. i never know what to write on the card so you can write a lot of things so let's let's actually go into one of the most important parts all right and so this is for sms text blasting uh-oh all right it's getting real now now let's talk about how how SMS text blasting actually works. SMS text blasting works in a way where you need to write not one email, but 200 types of emails in separate ways. So when you actually go out here and send text out to your motivated sellers, the algorithm gets tricked in thinking it's a unique text. Here's the problem. Her, that sucks for SMS text blasting. I have to create 300 versions of, a, of an SMS text and then send it out. But guess what? What do you think is going to actually give me the best ad copy for SMS text blasting? AI. But here's the thing. AI, it's going to do what you ask it. And the best use case I have found on wholesaling real estate. All right. The best use case I've honestly found here is going to be is literally you get your old scripts and you ask AI to make it better. That's yes. the best way. Not, not making it create the perfect SMS script, but using a script that you've already found and just making it better. That has always been the top one. Okay. So let's break this down. Uh, uh, let's great. So I just, I'm copy and pasting just for time. But for example, can you create a text message? I can send to a seller of a house to get them to call me about selling their house based on this text. Now, how it works, I think you guys should learn how this works for it. Oh, ooh, I'm sure. All right. This, so this is how it works. It is basically, you have to give it a, so based on this text, give it a quotations mark, put the text and make a quotations mark. So quote what it is. So for example, this is an old text that I had. Hey, this is, hey name, this is Zach. I just drove by 123 Main Street and I had a question about it. I, I, I had a question about it. Now I set outside the quotation marks without the words interested, house, property, or buy in it because those are words that the algorithm does not like for SMS. So I spit it out and it just, going to do that. It's going to create a new text message for it. Now we're going to see what it does. That's not bad, right? So guess what I'm going to do? Can you create 10 variations of that text to generate high on? Guys, you just, you just got to keep playing with it and you're going to learn and you're going to use a little bit of trial and error in your business. And remember, this is the tool that assists you. It, it's not going to replace the human element, but man, it's really going to step up your game, especially as a single operator. I would have done anything for this in my business when I so did the seven that, years. It's literally giving all this stuff out, but here's the problem. Your company Competition is not using it now. In about a month or two, when the gurus make their little video about it, they're probably going to start using it. So start using yeah. it now and gain the advantage. Correct. Now it's creating 10 variations of the text blasting. So when your guru or your whatever software guy says, we're going to have SMS AI calculations, but it's an extra $500 upgrade, give them the middle finger and say, I'm just going to do it like this. It's right there, guys. You don't need it. And honestly, they are no more than an expert than me, Zach, and you. So you, remember, we always take, you only take advice of someone that, it's been there and done it. Well, if you're just teaching students all day and trading your time for dollars, how are you an AI? They're going to bring somebody in, they're going to pay all this money, and they're going to tell you a done it for you website. We are just in the beginning stages of AI. It's going to be unbelievable over the next two to three years where this is going to go. And as of this video, I think it costs th two to three cents for every question you give it to AI. It's they actually free right now, guys. So there, it costs a lot of money for them to do this. So do it right now. But here's the here's the reason why I'm saying this is going to work so well. Have it create a hundred versions for you. It will do it. Send all those hundred versions out and guess what you're going to do you just the top three that give the best delivery and response rate use that one all right so make it do a hundred ad copy see which ad copy works then use the top one that's all that's all i'm saying because the eye is just spitting stuff out one of them's going to work and one of them's not right yeah. and so it's kind of funny the, the way it works but like this is really important stuff and so it just
just create 10 versions. We can go forever on this, but like I, I could tell you that it, it, it's insane. So if it has a word I don't like, hey, can you take the word house out of it, right? Or just like, it'll do that for you. And so that's SMS. And so everyone keeps asking which one's free. Just go to chatgpt.com or I think just search it online and it'll, it'll give yeah. you and you can sign up for it. Um, I think in the morning it was locked up, but uh, you can just use it whatever time. But I'm telling you guys, this isn't powerful. So let's, let's do some more use cases, right? So here's a really good one, right? So guys, whenever you hear AI and you hear like a gurus, uh, we have the special technology. <laughs> this is it. Just go and do it yourself. You don't need a guru that has no experience in AI to tell you how to use it. This is at, we're all going to learn trial and error as we do it. And honestly, it's an assisting tool. So you use all the information when you meet with your seller physically or virtually, and you're going to have the advantage in my opinion. Yeah. So let me go here and let's just show you one thing. Okay. Let's go here. I mean, think about this guys, Facebook ads, Craigslist ads. If you guys stopped writing Craigslist ads, cause you got tired of posting once or twice a day, you better get on it now because in so, six months it's going to be saturated. So yeah. So let me show you one really important thing. Okay. So let's go to the next part here. So we're, we're, this is a full breakdown. Okay. The next part on this list here is we're actually going to talk and share with you exactly how to find cash buyers. Now. And so let's do this. And we're going to go back to the marketing side, but I want to show you the cash buyers thing really quick. So how do I find, here's one way to find cash buyers. I go here, the cash buyers, JV and deals group. It's just a Facebook group. And I go here and I'm looking for people that are saying they're cash buyers, blah, 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 blah. So let's just look at this here. Okay. Let's do, let's search here. Let's search. Um, what's it good? Do knock. All right. I've been doing a lot of Knoxville today. All right. So let's put Knoxville and see if there's any cash buyers that are saying they're in Knoxville. All right. All right. We're getting some here, right? We're getting some people saying they're at, they're here. Uh, got Tennessee. They're giving all this ones, PM me, all this stuff. So I could find all these people saying they're cash buyers. Now there's a million of them out here. Um, but like, this is just an example. Let, let me actually use a better one. All right, really quick. Uh, Knoxville real estate investors. All right. This is a better one for it. All right. So I'm going to go to Knoxville real estate investors group. And all I'm going to do is looking for a house. No, let's just look up here. All right. So look, send me your details here. Noah is saying this help at recur, whatever it is. All right. So he looks like he's a cash buyer. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the emails possible. And so actually, let me show you this really quick. This is pretty cool. So <laughs> let's go to some of these top ones. All right. Actually, let me just search this. All right. Drop your email. This is a big one I get all the time. Drop your emails. Right. So let's do this one. I'm trying to grow my cash buyers with list. Drop my email. All right. So we're just going to do this. This is insane. But look, at this. we're going to copy it and then we go to the chat GDP. I'm going to ask it to I'm just going to paste it. Watch this. All right. We're going to do this. All right. Cool. All right. Can you pull all of the emails out of this data set? Quotations. I just pasted. See how it's all the, it's got all this crazy stuff. Yeah, you just want to cut search it. And what it's going to do right here is it is going to create a extract all the emails out of that post. Oh, snap. That's crazy. Oh, and, snap. And guys, there's one step further. Well, maybe I'll just save it to the end of the video. Well, let's save it to the okay. end for a second. That's but, crazy. So it just extracted all the emails. And so guess what we're going to do now? Can you create an email for, can you create, um, I got to think of how this, because I have to say it the right way. So let's do this. Can you write an email? I think I had to say the right way for a cash buyer. Can you write an email at, from a Zach Bin asking if they are a cash buyer? Please explain in this email that I am a wholesaler in the Knoxville market looking to sell some of my deals. For the cat. Something simple. Like, I, I'm not trying to complicate it, but like, and so yes, I have this bad habit. I just ask the AI please all the time. So, <laughs> that's the whole thing is please, thank <laughs> you. So, it's like the human, remember you're interacting the human language with basically I, I keep code. Doing it. Um, and it's like, please, thank you. It's, it's. So look at this. So I hope this email finds you well. My name is Zach and I'm a wholesaler in Knoxville market. I currently have a few deals that I'm looking to sell for cash. And I was wondering if you might be interested in discussing further. I understand that everyone has their own investing strategy. I just wanted to check to see if you are a cash buyer. If you are, I'd be happy to provide my information about the properties I'm available. Please let me know if you're interested in discussing further. Boom. And guess what? Now I can just copy email, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Guys, there's, this is endless, man. This, this is to me, uh, honestly, it's like, we're not doing this to try to be like the latest trendsetter. I'm just, we've been looking at this for a few months. And so we're getting some interest. Honestly, this trash is copy. It's trash. Here's the, you can make the copy better. I just put one thing. I can make it more eloquent. Here's the thing you can do, Facebook user. Copy your amazing ad copy because you have the greatest ad copy of all time. Paste it in the chat GDP and create fit, like four it's variations of it. unbelievable. Right? Because you're the best one. So if you're the best one, just ask it to rewrite, rewrite your copy for it. Tell, you can tell it to dumb it down. Write it at a sixth grade level. Write it at a third grade level. You can tell them to turn it into bullet points. Watch. Tell them to turn it into bullet points. Yes. See if it'll do it on I mean, this. It'll do that. But I'm just telling you, you can do anything you want. It's only limited by the question you ask it. Can you create a presentation on why a motivated 
seller should sell their house to me, right? Sell their house to me for a cash offer at a discount. So I'm, I'm not gonna do the bullet points yet, but I'm gonna show you. So I asked it, can you create a presentation on why a motivated seller should sell to me? So it's gonna create a little outline of what I should say to a motivated seller, which is kind of funny, right? But so it's giving me the little, like, all right, so it's kind of funny, but like, it's gonna tell you, hey, what's the benefits of a cash offer? Cash offer can close faster with traditional mortgage offer, which of course AI knows that. Cash offer is less <laughs> stressful. Cash offer be more attractive to a seller. And just write, it's writing it right now. I don't care what it's saying right now, but let, let me just give you, let me just tell you about what it's going to say. So at, you, at you guys, it. you can work on it. You, you It's clay. You can keep constantly adjusting it. And once you find the right fit, and by the way, what you think the right fit doesn't matter. It only matters what your sellers think. So it's like John Bon Jovi said a long time ago, he's like, somebody asked him, he goes, did you know you wrote a record hit? He goes, no. He goes, the greatest song I ever wrote was one of my bombs. And one of the worst songs I ever wrote on a, on a napkin in a bathroom was my greatest hit. Why? Because it always comes down to what your target audience, what resonates with them. And so many of you guys think of what resonates with you. I had to get over it. I always spoke over people, meaning I talked above them. And sometimes you have to have people come down and go, listen, you just need to talk to them on a basic level. So I just asked you, can you make it into a simple bullet point breakdown? And it is just making it into a quick bullet point, the presentation to make it even simpler for you so you can understand this, right? And so that being said, it, it's literally writing it right now. So let's kind of like, that's just one thing. All right. So let's, let's get into the really important part too, because we might have to go even longer today if it's getting too much, but we're, we're, we're trying to break this down as best we can. Okay. Guys, it learns with each question. So if you can keep coming up with very specific well, questions to improve the quality, this is the beauty of AI so tools. Let's think. We're live. So guys, if you have a use case for this that I have not talked about, which we're going to break down, let us know. And we can share it with the audience. Robert says, can you ask it to make the text more, pers per more persuasive? There you go. Can you make that? So like those key words and guys, I was terrible at English in uh, high school. I don't know how I got through 1101 college English, but 1101, 1102. So can you make that presentation more persuasive? Here's a few ways to make it. Oh, wait, how to make it more persuasive. So let's just ask you really quick the same question and forgive me on this, but we, we could go on literally for days doing this. And the thing is we are in the ground level of this. And I want you to know like, guys, it's going to be trial and error. No one's going to do this stuff for you. We can share information. The more we share our information, the better we all can become. There's no point in hiding AI behind a $5,000 coursework. To be honest with you, AI is only as good as the questions you ask it. So by using me and Zach's experience and then trying to figure out AI, I have the wisdom for it. I'm learning AI just like you guys are. I'm not an expert on it, but I, if we can figure out the right questions to ask together, we can all get a competitive advantage. And so one really important part here, which I'm not going to go put it in, but here's a really important part. So for a lot of my people out here that they ask for the code violation list and someone says it in a PDF, you can copy the text on the PDF, but you pay paste it, it's in this big smorgasbord of just text. Guess what you can do? You can ask chat uh, GPT to extract all the emails and sellers names in a chart format. That's pretty crazy, right? So let me show you this really quick. A um, list of so properties Zach will pull up. in four Guys, I did something like, you know how the uh, Federal Reserve notes got released yesterday? It's a very long winding report. This one's a little bit shorter. I copied it and pasted it in chat GPT and, and tell them just to summarize it in bullet points. What would normally take me 20 to 30 minutes to go through, I literally ripped through it in two minutes. And guys, yeah, you can do this with almost anything, anyone's presentation, any of it, because time is money and the faster you can move with stuff, it's not going to replace humans. It's just everything up to your actual negotiation and interaction. AI is only going to help you as a phenomenal tool. I listen in the education field. I, I don't know how they're going to deal with this because you got to understand it's, it's education that you can learn from. So before you had a document, you would take a test, you would grade it, and now you're going to have a computer teach you how to move forward and learn from it. Guys, the stuff you're going to be able to do with your scripts, remember how we always talk about turning your scripts in the conversation? I guarantee you that the open AI will help you become a better wholesale. You have to use it. So many of you scared are scared to ask your friends, your family, your wife, your husband to practice because it's embarrassing. Now you can go behind doors and do this. And eventually you'll have voice interaction and it's going to learn with your responses. And as AI grows, the interfacing of all this stuff, your emails, your texts, it's endless where this is going to go. And the sooner you can learn it, the better off you're going to be. And like, don't blow it off because I'm telling you, you're going to be so far behind when it happens. And my fear is that the guru community is going to tell you, listen, come with me and I'll show you how to do this. We have this amazing AI. Guys, we are all on the same level with this. If anyone tells you they're an expert, so we have to learn and grow as a so community. So let me show you this. Do this. So what I just said before, so I just, here's a list of, uh, code violations.
locations in Houston, okay? This is a nice little data set right here. I'm just gonna copy all this stuff and let's just say it's in like a- 4,000. Like, so I can do a column overview or whatever the view is on it, right? And I can just kind of go here and I can do it by zip code, right? Yeah, just do a section, see how it works out. So so guys, there is limitations on this. I might have to pay if you it. If you download like 300,000 leads, remember it's free, it costs money. It's gonna limit to you because it, it's offering it for so free. So did you see how the zip codes were different than the property addresses? So can you add, sorry, can you scrape the property addresses and zip code to create, create a full address sheet of the following? I'm probably not asking it the right way, but like I'm just trying it. See all this confusing data set? What it does. You might have to pick out the columns. So now it's going to create a sheet of the property addresses and zip codes. Oh, it's asking me. Wait. Yeah, I think the column screwed it up. So guys, like you could ask, you know, I don't know if uh, it can recognize XLS or CSV files. We're all going to be learning this. And I'm telling you, find out how you can utilize this to best assist you in your wholesaling business because there's some tools in here that a lot of you guys are struggling to get stuff done for free. Dude, this, in my opinion, oh, is wait, it's doing it for me. a game changer. By the way, guys, you see these spreadsheets and stuff? You could on command have it create a spreadsheet for you. It can create pivot tables for you. It can create an amortization schedule for you. It could calculate your cap rates. Guys, well, it's, it's, uh, we're, we're going to break that down. Okay. Um, but see how it's just, it's pulling that data set for me right now. So out that confusing data set, maybe that was in a weird PDF style. Trial and error, guys. And Boom. that's how you're going to learn. This might go on for hours. So yeah, that, that'll go on forever. But let's let's go to the next part here. Let, let, let's go a little more speed. So we're going to do this a little faster. But let's use this really, let's use a really cool example, okay? So I'm just going to copy and paste some things I wanted to share with you guys. First of all, here's a quick one, all right? Can you calculate the monthly payment of a $100,000 purchase with a 4.25 interest rate over 15 years? Um, pretty. So can you just calculate what the monthly payment, if I'm doing a creative financing, deal of a hundred thousand purchase price with a 4.25 interest rate over 15 years see what it does so it's literally going to calculate what it is just a quick so if i'm talking to a seller i can just pop that in there what it, what it's the crazy. payments are going to be and so it's giving me the formula let's see if it does it on here so let's see if it adds it in so it's literally yep see it's telling me what my payments are going to be if i'm going to tell it to the seller there and so i can even go even crazier on this so let me see and this is can insane this is insane a, if you really think about it, i never thought this day would be here can you make a, an amortization schedule all right whatever Get my spelling of <laughs> of the first five years and make a complete so it's going to just create for the first five years i just want to know what the payments are going to be on it so i can just really search if this is actually going to be a good creative financing deal for me so let's see if it does this so it's going to tell me how to do it and then it's going to actually do it for us so if i'm going to see in the first five years if i let's say this thing can rent out for 1400 a month or let's see if this is actually going to work really well so it's going to set up the table now it does take some time to do it but i can tell you this is absolutely insane what it's going to do so let's why it's searching that the, up there i'm going to go to the next part yeah. Ask it what's for dinner tonight. I wish I'd make dinner. Wait, oh, wait, I can just do this, right? Just... You, you gotta use, um, you have to learn. So it's trying to learn the human language and put it into code and spit it out. So it's create. So it actually is creating uh, it right now. So I said, can you? I should probably not do that. Yeah. So now it's gonna write it for me right here for the first five Look years. Guys, it's laying out the entire spreadsheet for you. Like you can get the information so much faster. So the old school way is I have to go on like Google. I have to use someone's website. And typically you gotta go through a bunch of ads. You gotta put it in your email and then you get it to it and then you spit it out and then i got like uh you know bankrate.com or something on there now you can just generate your own sheets it's, but if the seller asks for the sheet you can just make it like that really you do quick. it right there and so th that this is going to go on forever but it's just going to show you what this is all in the payments and then the balance on it pretty crazy and it'll calculate the interest and all this stuff but let's just go clear that combo so that's gonna be too much all right so let's write down the next one okay so let's do this for a lot of people that are i get this question asked a lot zach when i'm going with the seller how do i talk about cap rate, ROI, and all these things. So let's just put this in here. So I just I kind of made a sheet just so I can do this faster, but ask him. So, all right, but let's do this. So if I'm talking to the seller right now, I'm doing this live. I can do it, right? If a property is being bought for 154,000 and it's getting a thousand dollars a month in rent, what would the cap rate or ROI be? All right, hold next. So you just ask it what the ROI on a property that's getting a thousand a month. I'm not even giving it the expenses. I can do that, right? Remember your answer is based on the quality of the question you So here's a good it. one. Danny said this, do it in reverse, spread out 150K at 2% interest rate and make the monthly payment come out to a thousand. 
Yeah, you can it's... actually do that. Guys, this is endless. And like me and Zach don't have every idea. I'd like to tell you, like I, but I'm somewhat new to this. I know wholesaling. So what I would do is write down a list of questions on things that you think AI can help you generate more leads and be faster. It's not going to go to a seller's house and negotiate it for you. That's not going to happen. You've got to understand the limitations on this stuff. But if you can implement this and start learning it in your business now and understand how AI works, then you can make decisions on what services you want to integrate in your business. When should I pay for it? How much should the cost of it be? As opposed to your typical guru goes, give me five, ten thousand dollars I have it done for it to you site. And so and it's you go, guessing, wow, how do you do that? It's guessing 1500 bucks in operating expenses for repairs and maintenance, which honestly is not too bad. So it's giving me based on the, it's literally AI is guessing the expenses on this, which is insane based on 150 uh, 4K, a 6.8% NOI. And so it's literally calculating more. So if the net profit would be 32 uh, minus that for that, it's literally giving me what the investment would be based on the NOI and then selling it and then it's giving appreciation. Uh, so if it had appreciation, it'd be this one, just insane. So can you create a spreadsheet with from the following information? Oh my God, do that. All right, create a spreadsheet ROI for a property being bought and it's getting $1,000 a month. I can literally do that. Hold on, let me just copy and just get rid of it. So we can go on and on and on forever on this one, but let's go to the part of the next thing. All right. So yeah, it, it's good. It's, I think of it as access to the internet is probably going to start running comps for us and, and start doing crazy stuff, but it's giving us spreadsheets and all this crazy stuff. So that's a really good use case too. Let's go to the next part here, which is I think very important, not too important, but like it can start going actually out here and creating organization for us, like create a spreadsheet of my workday and then give it your schedule and it'll give you a quick like schedule. You guys are going to talk about how antiquated like the calendars were on your phone. You got to do, you got to go back to the day where I used to have like a little flip thing and you pay $500 for this piece of paper to organize your day. And then we've gone from smartphones. Now we're going to go to smartphone AI on how to organize your day. So when you guys talk about time management, what should I be doing in my wholesaling business? You are going to get such tools available to you. The question is, are you going to utilize them? Because that's what AI comes down to. And really like, okay, we can go on and on and on forever about this, but really I can tell you this thing is going to change a lot about how you're looking at things. And so let's ask it one last question. And I think it's probably the most important thing we can ask it. And then we're going to get in some more questions and stuff. What's for lunch? So we're going to ask and make a wrap about wholesaling real estate and real estate investing like Eminem and wrote it. And you and me are going to wrap it out? No. Come but, on. So it's literally going to make a wrap based on all of Eminem's lyrics from 2021 and before. And it's going to make a some wrap. good marketing stuff, man. I give it a beat. It could probably be able to do it. Wholesaling. Oh my God. It's about cash flow. Real estate investing is where the money goes. I'm the master of the game. Wholesaling is how I make my pay. So guys, play, when you see gurus rapping, I know this how to is play. how they're getting the information. Is how, I like this. I know how to play. Wholesaling is how I make my pay. That's gangster right there. <laughs> we're we're going to have to uh, I don't care about the that. haters. They can't bring me down. I'm on top of the world. I wear the crown. That's, you got to get Lil uh, J doing this, man. It, it's Lil Man J. But guys, this is really good at rap. It's going to change the rapping. Like everything, everybody, whoever wants to get into the game, like we're scared to do it. Honestly, this is really going to change how people attack all their businesses from artists, from wholesalers like you and me. And what I want you guys is don't get distracted by the shiny object syndrome. It is a tool and it is a trial and error tool and you have to specify the questions to get you quality answers. But the idea is if it helps you prepare when you go into the final negotiations, it's going to make you a better wholesaler. For those of you that think you never have to talk to a seller or a buyer and AI is going to do everything for you, you will be out of business. So if you can learn how wholesaling works, if you can learn how to do it for free and make money out of this and now utilize AI, the world's unlimited to you. And what do we got? Economic chaos going in 2023. Guys, this is going like I I don't use the word game changer. I know every guru uses that crutch in this business. This is probably the most significant change I've seen in technology other than the internet since I got into wholesaling. And since the internet was here when I got into wholesaling, I've been doing this 20 plus years, guys. This changes a lot. In the future, you're going to have the ability to switch your VAs to what I call VAI. Are you ready for this? Do it. So we're using something called Duck AI, which is the reason why I made it's, this. It's, and so what it's basically going to do for us right now, it's, it is going to have Eminem rap or wholesaling oh my God. song on this. You want to see how it works? So I'm look, scared. I'm scared too. I've actually never done this. Someone said duck AI in the comments. I don't hear anything. Hold on. Are you ready? Go. Who's ready for this? Let's go. Oh Lord. I'm scared. Oh my God. I hope there's no customers in it. Oh, uh, all right. Let's try it out. First one. I'm the king of real estate. Flipping houses left and right. Wholesaling's my game. I'm always on the lookout for a good deal in sight. I don't 
don't need no fancy degree, just knowledge and hustle is all I need. I'm making stacks, you can call me Mr. Success indeed. Car is wholesaling, wholesaling, it's all about the cash flow. Real estate investing, it's where the money go. I'm the master of the game. This is insane. Wholesaling, it's how I make my day. First, I don't care about the haters that can't bring me down. I'm the top of my world, I wear the crown. I take risks to make moves, I don't play it safe. Wholesaling, real estate, I pay most. Car is wholesaling, wholesaling, it's all about the cash flow. Real estate and investing, it's where the money go. I'm the master of the game. I don't <laughs> so i'm just telling you it's rough Guys, right now it's just the beginning like it's you have the ability to take people's language and, and like just that I, it, that's a little bit rough but it just you are in the ground level so you can be excited and scared at the same time because we're just talking wholesaling so you guys know our niche here is we stick to what we know best we know wholesaling so if we can try to integrate ai by asking the quality questions let's share it let's help each other let's not hide behind all these gurus that going to try to manipulate this to get between you and the real information you need to succeed in wholesaling guys get on board on ai figure it out and the thing is outside of wholesaling have fun with it there is an entire um if if you register at the uh, open gbt there is a thing what they call the playground and i think it's a uh, open ai guys just look it up it's there and then they have code written in here so like if your wife asks you constantly to review a text or an email you can teach her how to cut and paste in it and you can free up more time now that's a that's a a husband hack type of thing and don't use it against me but like it's endless you don't have to use this for spell checking you can uh rewrite stuff i don't know how professors and teachers are gonna like get through this mess because ai is so much smarter than you and me all put together and it's only gonna get smarter every minute when this live's over it's gonna be smarter with your information and guys you can save all your searches you can learn you can take entire notes and it will filter it according to your, your the priority you want to do it you can save so much time on everything now it's insane guys it's going to change everything. And one thing I can tell you is the Guru diss track, I'm going to have Tupac make it based on hit him up probably. And we'll make a nice Guru diss track from Tupac and they can go uh, diss all the, uh, everyone. But I'm telling you guys, it's insane what's going to happen. And so this means only two things you got to understand. Number one, if you hear something in my voice or you hear us making a video trying to sell you a $5,000 course, know it's AI. This is the scariest part, but we have so much of our voice out there. They could probably make us do a yep. fake video, a deep fake of us trying to sell you a course just so you know i will never ever sell you a course and then the ai is going to say i know i said before i'd never sell you a course but this time's different so they're going to use Join that information my, so they're, now they're going to say that so guys just so we know whatever i say to you there might be a deep fake from a guru i know they're in their lab basement trying to figure out how to make a fake online course on me that's why you have to go to freeholsling.com that is the only way you're going to figure it out but i can tell you that's number one number two this will change a lot and hopefully from the start of this video to the end you kind of realize that like this isn't some big fad thing that's going to make like it's not like this weird nft type it's not it's something you can actually use today and this is why i'm telling everyone start getting into it just start exploring it looking it up it's going to help you out but um it, it's interesting right so guys Th this i'm telling you guys this like four or five years ago would have cost me 50 60 grand just to spit the information we've done here and all these gurus trying to make these complex websites and i'm gonna have sms done for you it's over it's it's all right there it's all public access for you guys please understand when someone tells you had done it for you and you don't understand it you are going to pay and not only going to pay with your money you're going to pay with your time because it's going to be off asleep by the time they even utilize it for you so, so the we we yeah. do wholesaling and we implement it and we held back just to try to test some of this information out. we said why wait let's get it out there let's talk because i think a lot of you guys are going to be taken advantage of on this they're like so yeah they're not experts they're just so, like you and me let's talk about the last part here and then we'll get some questions but the biggest advent that we are going to have to understand is because of how amazing great this information is the gurus will take it for their own nefarious reason. And what that means is the gurus are going to ask AI to create YouTube videos, scripts, um, ad copy to sell you courses. It's going to be none of their a stuff. I'm just letting you know, the AI, they're going to make AI do things for, AI is nice. They're neutral. They don't know it's good or bad. So they make everyone look good. are going to do their evil money grab systems, try to get you money. Just FYI, this means there's going to be more people out the woodworks making YouTube videos because they're going to ask AI to make it scripts. It, it, it's going to get insane. Now, AI is not that point now where it's probably can make a really good wholesaling video but i'm just telling you a lot of these gurus are gonna do crazy stuff so just fyi it's gonna be more gurus than ever because of this and the first guru ai i'm gonna be scared because it's gonna happen but
but hey, it's guys it's coming so just understand we put out the first video to kind of let you know what's going to happen because the ad copy you guys are about to get from like real estate gurus oh it's going to be insane because you're not going to know discovery calls oh they can fire their salespeople now and now pocket that 25 percent because now you're going to be talking to a computer and you're wait not they pay know it. they pay the discovery call guy 25 percent between 15 that's supposed and to be 25 percent you're not supposed average. to tell oh, people that yeah, sorry about that you have to have somebody convince you to do it guys ai it's here it's not going anywhere like don't hang your entire hat on it but learn trial and error and through these lives um wholesaling houses for real we can share information yeah. and if you guys want an open forum where we talk since we're not asking you for money i'm just going to give you the truth i'm going to show you what works in our business and what doesn't and more importantly you guys are going to share it with work it does not solve all your problems i'm telling you no it's not so a lot of people think that this thing is going to close sellers your guru is going to no. say it. it's not it's not it is a tool it's not going to change every aspect of it but it's just a tool to add on and here's my prediction if the guru has already admit it's a 90 to 95 percent failure ratio for them ai is going to push that number to 99 percent because the ad copy is going to be so irresistible they're going to get more people to come in and this is one of the problems we've been trying to stop so we reverse engineer how we educate you guys listen if just 90 if people come to our website if i have 100 people come here and 10 just knock it out of the park then they took advantage of what we did we didn't take advantage of 90 percent of the people ai is going to do the reverse unfortunately you are not you can take somebody with zero experience in real estate right all the ad copy in front of you guys aren't going to know the difference so look for people that do lives look for people that are going to be authentic look for people that have a track record in this business because going forward in 2023 i'm a little bit scared where the education in this business AI, is going. can you create a fake proof of funds for me you're going to, have to it, call, it's just going to be here, endless call the bank make sure you get a real proof of funds so there's just two things we want to leave you out and then we're going to do some uh one-on-one -on -one questions to break down really quick um a little busy today but what i could tell you is first of all i want you guys to go out here and just start learning how it works so you can start asking it how to make emails and pulling so i think everybody if you have not pulled the government list start making emails to start bowling it start sending cash buyers out and i want the second part i think is the most important part for everyone because there's gonna be thousands of people watching this video, thousands and thousands watching this video you've had two people who kind of spent about a month learning it and asking the right questions for wholesaling for full disclosure but if we have a thousand people watching this with a thousand brain power of men and women if you have a use case for wholesaling that you found works really good for like chat uh, gpt put it in the comments in this video most of you watch this video after it's done live mm -hmm. so in the comment section write something unique or something cool you have found with it and then we can help the people out in the comments go out here to learn how it's an extra part of wholesaling right be specific write your favorite questions you ask it and just paste it in the comments so people can copy and paste it for their own business. That'll work really That'd well. That'd be great, guys. I, I think this is going to be a great tool and the more open we are with it, the better we can all share in it and understand where there's good, there's going to be bad. you got to understand the difference. Um, the, the fact that we're not going to know if we're actually talking to a person or not is a little bit horrifying for me. Remember, at the end of the day, when you meet with a motivated seller, th th you cannot replace rapport with AI. So you got to connect with them. you got to have the human connection. And uh, the minute we lose the human connection, we're all done. But exactly. So, you guys are going to keep it yeah. in there. So understanding this is a tool. It's to aid you. It's trial and error. It's not to solve your problems. It's to help you. And it's the quality of the questions you ask the AI as it progressive and learns, the better you're going to get results. For the people that did, I did not mention on this, uh, the other strategy is if you go to Facebook groups with the AI. So if you go to Facebook groups and Craigslist and start asking it really, so I, I got to do this really quick. I forgot to mention it. Um, so excited. Can you create a Craigslist post to get somebody to sell their house? to me for so if you just do this and you make a bunch of ones so here's a sample i want you guys just to use this really quick too because i'm going to put this in freeholsing.com so when i tell you guys if you did it and they don't they're going to get in big trouble for me okay so this is really important guys and guys i want you guys to see this so all you got to do this is a huge marketing strategy i don't think anybody does right now but they do not come out here and they don't post enough guys i talked to brian brian is an electrical engineer in syracuse new york he posted every day for like a couple months and he got an eighteen thousand dollar deal and then i think another he has another deal just from Craigslist. Now it doesn't take a lot of time. Just post it on Craigslist. So right here, it's like, um, this is good ad copy. Are you looking to sell your house quickly for cash? If so, I may be able to help. I'm a cash buyer looking for new properties. I'm interested in making it a fair offer to your house. Please send me details about your property. Um, so can you make this ad? Can you make this ad for wait and buy cash? So guys, like title of your ads, when you're all done with it, you can put in a command like, uh, can you create a catchy title for this ad? So the title, sell your house fast for cash. That's not bad. Attention homeowners are you tired of the hassle and stress see this is a lot better because i just asked it to make it even better and so i'm telling you so let's ask this too can you make four variations of this ad and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make four variations and that means
means every single week or every single day, I'm going to post a different variation every single day. You're just copying and pasting it. So I'm telling the people right now, if you actually do this every single day on Craigslist in your market, you're going to have a huge advantage. For now, until everybody else decides to use this technology and every guru sells the, this built-in AI in their course, we want you to start now. You have no reason not to jump on this right now. There's no barriers to entry. There's no cash being exchanged here. You're just going to have to put some time and you're going to have to do trial by error. What works in my market might not quite work in your market. You know how the story goes. All real estate is local. So what it's doing right now is just literally creating, guys, just posting Craigslist, post on Facebook groups if they are allowed in your groups, uh, just random like citizens groups of people just living in that area. You could possibly do this right. You do a lot of crazy, awesome things. But what it's doing is creating four or five variations. So every single day, Craigslist is going to see if you're posting the same ad copy, which kind of stinks. But if you do five different posts every single day for five days straight, it's a new one every single time. And it looks yeah, like it's... a new post because people on Craigslist, I want you guys to understand this. They look different. And what I mean by this, if you have the same title every single time, they're going to know it's the same and they're not going to click it. But if it's a different title, that's pretty cool, right? And they're both written in different ways. Yeah. So if you go on your standard Craigslist, the people just keep reposting the same title. If you guys can use this AI right now, I'm telling you, you have a six to 12 month head start on everyone else. I think that by the end of 2023 in the fall, we're all going to be on the same playing field. So the urgency of getting this live today and getting it out to you is for your benefit. It's for our benefit. And we're making this 100% treat free and transparent because AI is right now. I don't think it's eventually they're going to have to charge for these services, which is no big deal. Between voice, video, and everything else, you're going to know how much better you can make things. So just said I had too many requests within an hour, which is probably true. Yeah. So I got to give it at one hour. You can't. So here's the quick hidden tactic. Um, I have my own AI account. He has his own AI account. I have my sister who has her own AI account. I have about, not. I'm not going to get in trouble with them if they're watching this, but I have about 10 different AI accounts. So if I have too many requests in an hour, I just get a new one in there. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, sometimes it'll tell you you have too many. So just create a new account at, at for every single one. And then you have like 10 different accounts and you can post them on there. But I literally just asked it, can you make 10 amazing Craigslist posts and it'll do that for me. But guys, I can tell you, this is life-changing stuff. And if you know how to use AI correctly the right way, as of this video, you will be the only person in your market, not the only, but one of the few that actually know the true potential of what it has and what it can do. So I am begging what, you there's guys. There's no course behind this? There's no course. The oh gurus are crying right now because they probably spent 15 minutes creating the perfect, perfect video. Perfect video. Like and this This is how our, our course integrates AI. Like it doesn't, dude, you just do it yourself. They don't know any more than you and me. Actually, you know more than most gurus are ever going to know on this. Like I, I'm not a guru. I'm an expert on wholesaling. It's the only thing I'm ever going to teach you. The only reason I'm talking to AI is because I think it can benefit wholesaling. So when we talk about all the other, you know, NTF and 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 digital stuff, it's really not integrated in the real estate right now. It, it it's got a long way on this, guys. Right now, as we speak with this video, it's being used. The question is, are you going to use it or are you going to be used by AI? You have to make that decision. Same thing in social media. Either you use it or you created it. One of the other is going to happen. So guys, I want you to watch this video one more time in deep detail. Deep. Have the chat GPT on there on the side and you can pretend to do it and get it going. So guys, this is it. This is Zach Ginn signing out. Rick Ginn signing out. So we did a lot of explaining on this video. I promise you tomorrow, Friday, and then on my live stream Sunday and on your live stream Monday, mm -hmm. uh, we'll do a lot more one-on-one. So if you have a question, hop on tomorrow. Rick's going to help you out. <laughs> yeah. You're good to go. So guys- Yeah, I'm going to show you how to use AI outside of whole So but I'm this not. is the one, eight, we're not making AI video every single day, but I think this is one dedicated video for it be really important. So guys, make sure you guys hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. Guys, go to freeholesling.com. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Appreciate Thanks, you guys. guys. Thank you.